Over the course of today, we've had AT&T users reaching out to us concerned over their spotty coverage. And on top of that, we found parts of our area have been dealing with a wireless outage today. This comes as the phone provider is about to shut down its 3G network. Western Mass News reporter Lexi Oliver spoke with a local tech expert. She joins us now live in studio after getting answers for what this means for smartphone users. Lexi. That's right, Chris and Jordan. AT&T is shutting down its 3G network to make room for what it's calling an even better system, 5G. The good news is not many people will have to worry about this issue as many of the newer model phones have at least 4G capabilities. But those with older phones are running out of time to make the switch. We've received some calls from viewers today saying their AT&T service was spotty, but as of tomorrow, their service could possibly stop working altogether. If you have a 3G phone owner of Go Geeks in East Long Meadow, Stan Prager tells Western Mass News the only option is to upgrade it. So what do you do if your phone does have 5G capabilities? Um, most phones are automatically going to switch and pick up the 5G right away. I know with, with uh, iPhones you don't have to do anything. With some droids you have to actually go select under settings and network and enable 5G. But if you're not paying for 5G right now, you're not going to get it. So you're going to have to look at your plan also. Prager adds that there isn't a reason not to upgrade your phone. 5G has many perks, including a wider range of coverage and much faster data. This also applies to tablets and Kindles that you are using cellular data with. And also a heads up, if your car uses built-in cellular features that use 3G technology for things like its navigation system, that will stop working as well. And while AT&T is the first to make this switch, it's not alone. Other service providers are expected to make the switch later this year. If you aren't sure whether or not your model will still be supported, you can check AT&T's website for a full list. Live in studio, Lexi Oliver, Western Mass News.